good morning to everybody. Well, this is one way to start our sunrise uh, safari here on Wild Earth with this beautiful, beautiful setting here this morning. And definitely, I think it's going to be a magical day around here. Uh, quite warm as well. As you can see, the sun is coming through quite beautifully this morning. And uh, we are sitting here at uh, Juma Private Game Reserve in Sabi Sands, South Africa. Good morning, everybody. My name is Cedric Dold. And behind the camera here on Sparky this morning, we've got Igor. So thanks for joining us. So yeah, what a way to start the morning. And on top of that as well, we do have we do have a hyena. I'm not too sure exa exactly which hyena we've got here on the road this morning. But it's just really enjoying a little bit of a snooze. So I thought there might be something around to maybe grab the attention of this hyena. So I have looked around here just to see if anything's in the trees or maybe there might be a kill around here. But it looks like this hyena is just mainly having a little bit of an early morning a snooze. Yes. Lovely. Look like they are very active this morning. It, due to the weather, of course, it's still in their favor. If the sun just breaks and to get too hot, they cannot able to stay and hunt uh, over a morning. So they have to make a kill between now and around 8 o'clock. It will be very hot by that time, by the look of the thing. Thanks for joining me here. We managed to follow the hyena but the uh, scent that the hyena was really showing us from the ground, it was really unbelievable. We follow about a kilometer and this hyena shows the interest that there's something happened in the area and virtually we find leopard tracks in and out in the same spot. We, we follow up according to the environment that in the, in the area, of course, we're looking for the big trees, if there's any leopard. And we're lucky to uh, come across this particular individual. No, Talamba didn't go. Look at the camera. Looking the opposite. Looking, of course, if there's any danger around in the area before even taking itself down. Because it can be so much dangerous having this hyena here. She's not going to stay. Do you see these um, activities of hyenas? But this male lion has eaten himself full. He is a full, full male. Don't know what he's eaten, but it's definitely in there. And the guinea fowl is shouting his defiance. And we often use guinea fowls as alarm calls. He's such an opportunist, his belly is full. But he hears the impala alarming and he just wants to he wants to be there as well but he also knows that that requires a lot of effort good day big old girl the matriarch of the herd passed a meter from the vehicle with no issue oh this is an enormous cow and oh, look at the little one here all passing right next to the car, like less than about a meter. This is very likely one of the matriarch's latest calves. And I'm saying matriarch, it seems like she is leading the group. Seems to be the oldest cow. This is spectacular. This is that same herd that we just saw. Here's another cow just right next to us. I'm just going to bend over a bit. And these elephants are just totally 100% comfortable with us. Definitely one of the younger lionesses. I see the nose has still got a lot of pale pink coloration on it. Once they reach approximately about six years or so. The nose will be entirely black. Oh, and how beautiful is this just in that crisp sunlight. Oh, look at that. 
Another thing that you can use the teeth, the canines when it's still a young female, will be very sharp and very white. Over time they tend to become a bit more yellowed, very much broader at the base and the tips seems slightly more worn and blunt or slightly more blunt. I've been f pretty much following up on uh, Marips's uh, tracks, of course a young male leopard track, but it looked like it was coming all the way down central in a westerly uh, direction. And of course I thought maybe just come and take a look at this beautiful jackalberry tree. You know, always it's always nice to come and take a look at this tree because uh, you know Tlalamba, she loves using this tree quite often and um, how, how many times have we seen her up in this tree? And this is like, as well where we saw Tlalamba's uh, two youngsters, of course, uh, you know, this was the last time we saw the two youngsters was in this big jackalberry tree. But now, what do you think is in this tree? I mean, I'm trying to look. I'm trying to figure out, is there anything else in this tree? Does anybody spot anything? Maybe uh, a gama, a blue-headed agama? Oh, you never know. Maybe even a, some rosettes. You never know. Maybe there could be a rosette. Oh, what, what do I see there? Maybe, is it? Is there something lying on that branch there? What do you think, Igor? Yeah, maybe we should look, take a look. And look who we have. It's Marips, the young male leopard, fast asleep in this big jackalberry tree. But it's just amazing how well camouflaged they are. That's why I always say, if you're driving in the park, um, you know, you could just look at, like we always say, look at what you're seeing. That is the main thing. Look at what you're seeing. So if you see a tree, look at that tree. Look at the branches. Look at all around, inside, outside. And how many times you have missed a leopard that's lying in a tree next to a road. I can imagine, even myself, I can imagine numerous times, numerous times. So it's always a very important thing to do is look at what you're seeing. Thank you so much. And make sure that you uh, stay tuned into Wild Earth as straight after our uh, sunset or sunrise safari. I think I'm already on the sunset safari. On our sunrise safari, uh, just stay tuned because uh, we will have escape to nature straight after this. As I said, and keep your eyes. Maybe I'm hoping Juma Dam. You'll never know. Marifs might come down there for a drink. But yeah, thanks once again from the Wild Earth team. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon or evening. Thank you.